is something we've all seen on YouTube. I know we have. There's always some uh, idiot that's uh, talking about the camera he's been using for you. I, I don't care if it's a Canon person. It's, n it's never a Fuji person. <laughs> it's always a Canon or Sony or Nikon, something like that. Someone makes the video, it's like, I've been using Canon, Sony, Nikon for years now, and by God, they refuse to innovate. You know, so-and-so has got 10,000 hyperfocal points and their latest camera, and Canon, Nikon, Sony, you just refuse to innovate. You are just not on the cutting edge. I'm so disappointed in your latest camera. Someone made a very funny comment. Of course, the, the latest Canon 60 Mark II. Total failure. I mean, spec-wise, it's a failure. Someone very fun, uh, fam famously said in a comment uh, to me in one of my videos, he said, every four years, Canon rolls out a four-year-old camera. I thought that was really, really funny. That was hilarious. I nearly busted a gut over that one. Well, well that's just Canon. But, I mean, Nikon... Or, you don't see professionals doing this stuff. I mean, well, incredibly rarely, but you don't, you don't, you don't see like a guy on the sidelines of a sports action event with like a 400 millimeter, you know, because Canon and Nikon own that. Sony and Fuji can sit there, you know, scratching their crotch on the sidelines all they want, but Canon and Nikon own that, and they're going to continue to hold it, own it for a long time. Um... <laughs> Uh, Sony's got no glass. <laughs> Even if they had the glass, I mean, it's obvious that the A9 has banding issues. Can't shoot, can't shoot a soccer match without two percent of your pictures apparently having banding due to the LED lighting in the soccer field. Um, but that's another discussion. You just don't hear people talking like that. The only people that are talking like this are these button sniffers. That like, <laughs> Someone so came up with a new camera and it's got 10 new bullshit features on it and my Canon or my Nikon or my Sony doesn't have. I'm leaving you Canon. I'm going to sell all my glass and all my cameras and I'm switching to Fuji. I don't care what anybody switches to. I don't make a dime either way. But you don't hear real professional photographers ever talking that sort of crap. It's like, you know, I've been using Nikon for... 20 th some years now, you know, I can use it reliably and people buy my work. You, d you don't hear them talking like that. It's, I get, aren't you get, aren't you sick of all these I, I switched videos? I switched. It's good if someone actually finds something they like better. You know, it's like, uh, I've been dating, uh, uh, you know, I've been, I've been dating my camera, and she's, I don't like her, and I found, like, a better girl. You know, it's good if someone, you know, switches uh, cameras, and they find something that works better for them. There's nothing wrong with that, but all this, this whole nonsense, like, I switched because so-and-so with the, my camera company not innovating anymore. Canon. <laughs> it is Canon, right? Isn't it kind of funny? This is kind of ironic. I really don't like Canon much. So Canon's got some good glass, but they are really behind the times. They're like a dinosaur. Is that <laughs> Canon at least makes reliable, use-worthy uh, equipment, and they don't innovate. But Sony innovates, but they don't make reliable, use-worthy equipment. Wouldn't that make a great video on its own, wouldn't it? Sony, always innovating, but professionals don't use their camera. Canon. Doesn't innovate at all, but the professionals all use their cameras. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? That is what we call irony. Pretty sure that's some pretty good photographic, photographic world irony. Canon, we don't innovate, but professionals use our shit. Sony, we innovate all the time, but no professionals are using our stuff. <laughs> Banding, no glass, bad customer service. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>